All right. Welcome back to Short Farm One. All right. So uh, let me show you Move Five from this perspective. Uh, I'm going to start facing this, and I'm going to just watch. Just watch so you get the visual here. So. There's commencement of one. Play the loot. Move two. Single hand pong. Move three. Move four. Here's move five. That's it. So we'll, we'll face each other for this. So at, at uh, the end of move four, you shift away to the left and you've taken a step with your right foot. So you can mirror me. There you go. And now the, the lower body movement components of move five, just two hip rotations. No weight shifts, no steps. So you can place your hands on your belly. We rotate out. Rotate in. That's it. Hip straight ahead, rotate out, rotate in, so rotate out, rotate in. And what you're doing when you do that is moving your hips, leg and foot as a single piece. Rotate out, rotate in, reset, hip straight ahead. Rotate out, rotate in. One more time. Hip straight ahead, foot straight ahead. Rotate out, rotate in. All right, let's do the hands. So you can just leave the lower body out for a moment, for a moment and take your right pulse. So first, we're going to rotate the right palm so it's facing out. Yeah, that's it. Reset. Rotate out. Rotate out. And ideally, it's aligned on your center line, more or less. And you want to have a feeling here, like, if someone was coming into your space, you'd be saying, stop. Yeah. And then the, the left hand just rides along and goes to the back of the right wrist. So let's try that again. Rotate out. Reset. Rotate out. And then one, uh, one helpful detail. If you take your left middle finger and feel the back of your right wrist and on the back of my right wrist i can find i would describe it as a divot or an indentation between a couple tendons yeah and that that's the landing place for my middle finger when i do this it gives it somewhere to go instead of floating around back here and then in the next part of the move, I just keep it there. So it's a, uh, a contact point. Yeah. All right. So let's try that again. Rotate out. Reset. Rotate out. Now, the next part of this move, the hands, the hands now do this arc and descend. Yeah, just like that. And then the palms are on top of each other, both palm down with the uh, right hand on the bottom. Let's try that again. One, two. Reset. One, two. Now note, you are all nicely keeping your hands on your center line, which is the idea. When we add the rotation, as you rotate, the hands are going to move from side to side, but that's coming from the hips rather than the shoulders. And that's um, 
it's a little tricky when you see the move put together. All right, so let's put it together. So shift weight to your left, take your right pulse and take a step with your uh, right foot landing lightly on the heel. So here we go. Rotate out. Hips rotate out, hand rotates out. Rotate in, hands descend. Yeah, that's it. Reset. Rotate out. Rotate in. Reset. Rotate out. Rotate in. Pretty straightforward. Reset. Rotate out, turn your hips. Rotate in, turn your hips. One more together. One, two. All right, let's add that to moves one through four, recognizing when we start facing each other, move five will look like this if you're looking at me. Rotate out, rotate in, but we'll be doing just the same thing we did when we were facing each other. All right, let's give it a whirl. Moves one through five. Ready, begin. Bend. Stretch. Bend. Stretch. Shift weight, bend. Stretch. Wrap, step, finish, take your pulse. Turn wrist to wrist. Shift weight, wrist to fingers. Turn, step with your right. Take your right pulse. Rotate out. Rotate in. Nice correction. Smoothly back to neutral. And so let me just show you the, uh, I'm going to cue the bend and stretch through moves one through five, and uh, you, you'll likely see it. And you'll also see, you know, pieces of moves that I may not be emphasizing now and that uh, will likely come later. But, so we've all done the bend and stretch here. You can follow me if you want. Stretch, bend, stretch, bend, stretch, wrap is a type of bend, and then here's a stretch. This is a bend, stretch, bend as I turn and step, stretch as I land the heel, and then I stretch some more, and then I bend. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. So it's in there. Um, but at the start and in introducing the moves, particularly move five, I won't emphasize that. Um, and it, it, you know, it changes, it changes the order of the bend and stretch. So it, assume I started this way, move three, bend, stretch, bend, stretch, stretch some more, and then bend. Um, and, and a trick, something you'll, you'll need to feel for as you start to incorporate that is you stretch here and then you save a little stretch so you have some more for this. And then you got a lot of room to bend as you come back here. All right, online and in the studio, thank you so much for joining me on this delightful Tuesday morning here in the loop. Enjoy your practice. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.